久しぶりだなトラファルガーロー街道は当然持ってただろう全部もらうぞロードポーネグリフ条件は同じだ勝った方の総取りだなつやーYo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Reggie here, back with you for another video. Welcome back to the House of Animation, where we have discussions and reviews about our favorite anime and cartoons. And for today's video, we're gonna be doing a fight analysis for two members of the worst generation in One Piece. We're gonna be talking about Trafalgar D. Waterlaw versus Marshall D. Teach. Because I really enjoyed this fight in the anime, and I really think that it gave us so much to talk about just from the short interaction that we saw. But before we get into To that please make sure to like comment subscribe if you like this type of content and you want to see more and also make sure to follow us on tiktok if you want to see more clips let's drop that intro So the Egghead arc in One Piece is officially underway in the anime and I knew when this fight was gonna happen, when I read this fight in the manga, I knew this was a video that I needed to do. I think this fight is so fantastic and interesting for a multitude of reasons that I'm gonna get into. The battle begins with Blackbeard attacking the Heart Pirate ship in the middle of the ocean near Winter Island. Blackbeard was here waiting for any one of the three members, Luffy, Law, or Kid, because he He knew after leaving Wano, after they defeated Kaido and Big Mom, one of them was gonna come through that island area. So we see Law's ship in the water and we clearly see it damaged as well as his crew currently panicking. But in the midst of this panic, we actually get a funny moment because we see Law and his crew starting to shift genders. Law becomes a woman. This is due to one of Blackbeard's crew members, Doc Q, and his sick sick fruit, which allows allows him somewhat control over different types of diseases. And I guess one of those diseases makes you a woman. But Law is able to quickly counter it because he realizes through his fight with Kaido and Big Mom that by exerting enough hockey, you can actually get over Devil Fruit powers. So after Law turns back to normal, his ship has to surface just because of the amount of damage they're currently taking. And once Law was able to surface, so does Blackbeard and the rest of his officers that he brought to that island. They all show their face and we see the people who's with Blackbeard. That includes Includes Doc Q, Jesus Burgess, Van Auger, and lastly Teach. And this fight immediately begins. Van Auger uses his warp warp fruit powers to send Jesus Burgess all the way to the island. Jesus Burgess uses his strong strong fruit powers, which gives him super strength to be able to pick up a mountain and throw it at Law's crew. But we already know our man Law wasn't gonna take this shit lying down. He immediately opens a room and slices that mountain. Into bits. But right after dealing with that mountain, Blackbeard and Law finally meet and see each other with Blackbeard in the sky and Law on land. <laughs> Blackbeard says he's ready to take out Law and take any of the low poneglyphs that he was able to take from Wano. And Law's not backing down. He says, you know what? Let's do this shit. Winner takes all. Law being as smart as he is doesn't take any chances and immediately goes into his awakened mode using his awakened technique, our room. Law is able to injure Blackbeard, but Blackbeard counters with his tremor crush from his quake quake fruit. And I just know somewhere Whitebeard is rolling in his grave. But 
but I gotta give the animators credit with this because this tremor crush is animated amazingly. Like we are really able to see the pressure from this Quake Quake Fruits power. The shockwave coming from Blackbeard, the way that the screen cracks, like they took this animation to an unbelievable level for me. Like it was honestly amazing. Law's entire crew is being affected by this attack, but the action don't stop there. The next thing that happens is that Doc Q starts dropping his apple bombs from the sky. But this is why I like this fight so much because as much time as we spent with Law, we really don't know anything about his crew's powers or abilities. And through this fight, we're actually able to get a glimpse of seeing the form and fashion that the Heart Pirates wage war. Law told Sachi and Penguin to go into the water to provide support and we see Sachi gulp up a bunch of water and then spit it out to deflect the bombs like he's a fish man. Sachi and Penguin move in the water so fast that they say that when it comes to sea battles, they can't be beat. And the most interesting part about this statement to me is that it made me realize in a story based around pirates and the ocean, we really don't get to see that many water-based battles in One Piece. I think the fact of being in the water and being in the ocean brings a different dynamic to the fight and I was really happy to see it. But the next thing we see is we see Law preparing for a type of attack, but then Beppo and John Bart actually work together to protect Law from Van Auger's sniping. John Bart was able to tank one of Van Auger's bullets, which let me remind you is not an easy thing to do. We're actually being able to see that Law's crew is not useless. Let me remind you how strong Van Auger's bullets are. This is the same man who was taking out Cracker's biscuit soldiers with ease, one shot, dead kill. The same biscuit soldiers which during the Whole Cake Island arc, Luffy had to go into gear four just to injure. And mind you, I did say injure. Luffy didn't just completely destroy Cracker's biscuit soldiers when he turned into gear four. Van Auger is sniping these biscuit soldiers with ease. That shows you how strong Jean Bart's defense is. And through these few interactions, we're really able to see how the heart pirates fight. We see that Law is the main focus of the attack and everybody else is used as somewhat support to defend him. Now, low key, this is actually somewhat different to see because when you really think about it, the Straw Hats mostly fight 1v1. We've seen a few instances with the Straw Hats working together as a team and they do work well together as a team, but mainly they fight solo. From what I can see with the Heart Pirates, they have amazing teamwork and might actually have better teamwork than the Straw Hats. But getting back into the fight, Law then uses another awakened attack. He uses his K room to be able to puncture Blackbeard. Now it clearly injures Blackbeard, but Blackbeard is able to shrug off the pain somewhat easily. Say what you will about Blackbeard's defense ability, he's able to endure a lot of pain. <laughs> Van Auger teleports Blackbeard onto the island and Blackbeard and Law face off for their round two. But right when these two are facing off, we see Blackbeard use his Black Vortex technique with his Yami Yami fruit and the screen goes black. Now the next things we see from this fight, the manga shows us the Heart Pirates completely defeated. Blood everywhere, Law damn near unconscious. Now although we don't see what happens, I can kind of make some assumptions based on how the fight was going and I can assume how the rest went. As as much as the fandom loves Law, we can see from Law's fights that he is heavily Devil Fruit dependent. He has a strong hockey, but as far as we know, he doesn't have Conqueror's hockey and he doesn't have any of the advanced forms of hockey. Like Luffy's fruit is obviously dope, but he's not Devil Fruit dependent. 
dependent. Luffy has incredibly strong hockey and has trained with all of the advanced forms as well. Law hasn't done any of that. Kaido even tells us with his fight with Luffy, it's not a devil fruit that made Roger King of the Pirates. He didn't have one. It was hockey. And we see that mastery of hockey is really what's going to take you to the next level. So once Blackbeard was able to take Law down, everybody else is probably cake because Law is clearly the focal point of their attack. Everybody else is just support. So with everyone beaten and bloody, Blackbeard is ready to take Law back to Pirate Island, but then Beppo goes into his Sulong form with some help from Chopper and saves Law. Now, although Law lost this fight, this was a great short fight. It gave us a lot of insight to Law and his crew. It shows us Blackbeard's strength, and it gave us one of the very few sea battles that we have in One Piece. I hope the anime expands more on the fight and expands to show us more of Blackbeard's powers and how he defeated Law, but the end result the same. This was a good fight to me. But let me know what you guys think. Comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this fight with Blackbeard versus Law. Do you think Blackbeard's OP? Do you think Law got hoed? But with that, I got nothing left for this video. So, peace.